Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today we're going to be installing some mud flaps on the Tesla. So I already installed it on the driver's side and it's actually a very simple process. You might need some couple of tools that it doesn't provide you. So, um, but yeah, um, this is the brand I got, Basenor. Um, yeah, this was purchased on Amazon. I think I purchased this for like $40, I don't remember, but it's a lot cheaper than Tesla and it's actually really good quality. It, although it is ABS plastic, of course, but it's actually really good quality, very simple install. So this is how it looks. It's actually very thick, very good quality. Like I keep being repetitive, but super simple process. I'm gonna show you guys how to install it. When coming to the tools, all you're gonna need is a 10 millimeter ratchet, flathead screwdriver, and then a brine tool. Um, this is perfect for basically those pins or those clips, the plastic clips, so you won't damage them when you use them with flathead. So this is just to pry it open, and I use this to take out. So uh, not this. But these are the things that it comes with um, when you order these mud flaps. So these are the tools. So these are your clips. So one for the front, one for the front, one for the rear, two for the rear, and two for the front. So this is actually pretty, pretty uh, self-explanatory on what you're supposed to do. You take things out and then you put things in. Pretty simple. And uh, I suggest using the ones that they gave you because they're a lot longer and the, the uh, washer around it is a lot thicker. And then. Uh, if I were you, just get like another uh, clip or something like that. Any any type, uh, due to the fact that the front needs one, it doesn't provide you with uh, like a self tap or anything like that. So this is why you would need a drill bit. Pretty simple. Just a skinny one that can match up to this spec of of a clipper. So or a clip. So it's up to you guys on how you guys want to do the the front. But I'll show you guys how to do it right now. All right. So when we come to the rear wheels. So what you're gonna do is just remove these two clips and then there should be a stud right here. You, you can remove that nut with your own fingers. It's actually supposed to be hand tightened. Very, very, very simple to uh, take out. And when you come underneath, whoops, use this a nut right here, take it out with a 10 millimeter and then just snap it on and then pretty much reverse the whole entire process on how, how you're supposed to take it out. Make sure that when you input this clip into this section right here, make sure it's not loose because it has to bind in with the um, with these fender plastic, so it won't fall off as you drive, dude. This is a most important part. So you just hold it in. See? Do you see that? That's still loose. Try again. Okay, now that these two clips are removed, so when it comes to the front, so we got the two holes right here that you can use the uh, clips that it was provided for you. But when it comes to this one, this is where you have to use your own. You have to find something that can supplement this. So it's actually pretty important. And then you insert the clip in here. Same thing like you did in the back. You try to pin the clip against this plastic fender. So technically it just won't fall out. It's mostly tightened. So nothing, nothing underneath, just this, this clip, and then hole right in here, and you're good.
and then there you go that's how you install the front mud flaps and the rear mud flaps so very very simple process and oh, but it's a little bit time consuming because you know you don't want to break the clips or anything you gotta make sure everything's all measured correctly but overall i hope you guys enjoyed today's video and very very short video again so i'll link the description of these mud flaps down below for you guys so enjoy peace